so welcome friends to the another episode of the microbiology tube so today we are discussing about the radio immune assay so in the radio immune assay there will be the reaction competitive reaction between the antigen and the antibody so here in the radio immune assay first what we do is that we take the antibody and this antibody is reacted with the antigen this antibody is reacted with the antigen that is labeled with the labeled with the radioactive isotopes so suppose that there is the antibody this antibody is reacted with this you know antigen that is labeled with the radioactive isotopes so this is what we see this is the antibody and this is the antigen that is radio labeled so if we uh, make or react we, if we keep uh, them to react they will form the antigen and antibody complex you know they will form the antigen and the antibody complex so these antibodies are labeled with the labeled with the radioactive isotopes so now this radioactive isotopes we call it as the hot antigen so these are called the hot antigen so this will be your antibody so now this is the antigen and antibody complex so this is the antibody and this is the antigen that is labeled with the radioactive compound so now what we do with this with that with that antigen and antibody complex so firstly we immobilize this antigen and antibody complex so we immobilize this antigen and hot anti so the hot antigen and antibody complex so like this so there may be a lot like this one you know there may be a lot of this you know hot antigen you know there may be the uh, antigen like this one so after this now we want to know what is the antigen how anti how much number of the antigen is present in the given serum suppose this is the serum of the patient so we should know how much antigen is present so we should know the how much antigen is present in the given sample so here is the antigen that is bound with the radio label uh, radio label isotope so this is called the hot antigen so what happens is that this antigen that is present on the serum so the serum also have the antigen so the antigen that is present on the serum are called the cold antigen now what we do is that we put the cold antigen into this mycotiter plate so here will be the cold antigen too so here will be the cold antigen too so now what happens is that here there will be the competitive binding between the hot antigen and the cold antigen so there will be the competition between the hot antigen and the cold antigen for the bind for binding towards this antibody so the competition occurs between the cold antigen and hot antigen so what happens is that the cold antigen may replace some of this you know uh, hot antigen and it will uh, be attached like that one and here is also some of the you know cold hot antigen that is uh, that is attached to this you know uh, that is attached uh, to this uh, antibody so now antigen is being replaced by the cold antigen so if you see here these are being replaced by the cold antigen so if you see uh, you know the space you know the surface one so at first there was no any you know radioactivity there was no radioactivity so there was the radioactivity in the bottom part of the mycotiter plate but there was no radioactivity in the you know the surface or uh, in this uh, uh, mycotiter plate so so now what happens is that this you know the all the hot antigen will go in this upward or go in the surface so there will be the radio uh, labeled antigens now so there will be the radio labeled antigen so now in the surface the radioactivity are increased so at first there was no radioactive uh, no radioactivity now the radioactivity is increased 
So now you can detect, uh, know the radioactivity of this, you know, sample components. But the question is, how we can know the concentrations of the given uh, antigen from uh, in the given serum? So first, what you do is that you do the series of the test. You do the series of the test with the non-concentrations of the antigen. So you have to do, uh, do the test with the non-concentrations of the antigen. So suppose this is the concentration of the antigen and this is the radioactivity. This is the radioactivity. So if you see, if we increase the concentrations of the cold antigen, you know, this is the concentration of the cold antigen. So if we increase the concentrations of the cold antigen, the radioactivity is increased. So radioactivity is increased, you know. So if we increase the concentrations of the cold antigen, the radioactivity is increased. So if we increase the concentration, so the radioactivity is increased, so the graph will be somehow like this one. The graph will be somehow like this one because if, if the concentration are increased, you know, if we go to the concentration here, the radioactivity will increase. If you go towards the more concentration, the radio, the radioactivity will be a little bit higher than that one. So, you know, this is this graph, you know, this graph is obtained. This graph is obtained by doing the series of the tests. Uh, a series of the test, you know, that has the non concentrations of the cold antigen. So this is done by doing the series of the tests uh, from the uh, from the non concentrations of the antigen. So now you take the radioactivity of the compound. So the we, we don't know the uh, we know, don't know the quantity of the antigen here. So you take the radioactivity. You measure the radioactivity. Suppose radioactivity is somehow here, you know. So you can you can uh, draw the straight line. So it will intersect here. So where it intersect, draw the perpendicular line here. So this will be your concentrations of the antigen. So this is somehow the basic things about the radio immune assay. So if you like my video, please press the like button and uh, share the video and please don't forget to subscribe the video so to subscribe the channel thank you